Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Momo Makeup. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today's video, I have with me all of my lip products. I'm going to go through and declutter them, show you guys my full collection. Before we get into today's video, if you could please hit that subscribe button, I would so greatly appreciate it. Also, don't forget to turn your notification bell on. That way you will not miss any of the new videos that I upload. I want you all to keep in mind that there are definitely going to be plenty of lip products in here that I receive for free or as part of a subscription box, something at a discounted rate. So there is no way that I actually spent the amount of money that I have sitting right here in front of me. So I'm going to start off with my lip liner collection. It is very small. I only have six lip liners and I actually only use one of them. I'm probably going to get rid of the other five that I have here. First two that I'm going to show you are from Kylie Cosmetics. I have Posey K and Mary Jo K. Now these, I believe, came as part of a lip kit. So that's how old these are. These are from when Kylie first launched her brand called Kylie Cosmetics. These are old as dirt. I guess I wouldn't need to throw them away because they're just lip liners, even though I know they're expired. But they're just not colors that I reach for. I really only wear reds every so often once in a blue moon same thing with dark pinks i really am such a like basic bitch when it comes to lip products i love glosses anything that has glitter in it or clear gloss i'm really not even huge into tinted glosses so we'll get we'll get into that more as we go along but those are the two lip liners from Kylie Cosmetics that I have. Then I also have this one. This one also is from Kylie Cosmetics. It's from the Coco collection. This one is Handbag Ho, and I think my sister gave this to me. But I'm gonna try and, but yeah, it's definitely more of like a warm tone um, nude. This is Handbag Ho. So it's a pretty color, but just not one that I reach for. And I have one here from Avon. This is a Glimmer Stick lip liner in the shade Nude. This one's nice because it is retractable. Actually, I kind of forgot I had this. See, that's why I hate doing these declutter videos because I find stuff that I forget I had and then it's almost like I'm freaking adding to my collection instead of getting rid of stuff. Now, this is from Jeffree Star. It came in one of his mystery boxes that I purchased. By the way, you guys, I definitely have some strong feelings about what's going on in the beauty community right now between Jeffree, Shane, and Tati. I thought about doing a dedicated video just talking and expressing my feelings on this matter. Let me know in the comments below if that's something you would be interested in hearing from me. I just, it's like, I, and with everything that's been going on with Jeffrey, everything that's been leaked and exposed from his past, I'm having a very hard time not canceling him. I try not to partake in the cancel culture. I believe everybody makes mistakes, everybody has a past, but Based on what I've been hearing lately, I just don't know if this is something that I can sort of forgive him for, but that's that's for another video. I just am going to show you what I have because I do have a few from Jeffree Star. This is in the shade Unicorn Blood. This is literally one of his like cult classics. His lip liners are nice. They're extremely creamy. And this one here is like a vampy red. It really is beautiful, but I don't have Unicorn Blood lip. So I guess this is something I could use all over my lips, but I, like I mentioned before, I'm not really into the dark red lips. This is the only lip liner that I use religiously. I actually have it on right now. It's from Dose of Colors. This is called Dime, or I should say it's in the shade Dime. This one also has a retractable pencil, which I absolutely love. And it's such a beautiful, cool tone nude it's like almost like a mauvey color and I just absolutely love it to line my lips and then I actually went in today with the Wayne gloss lip gloss over top so it's just such a perfect color for me would highly recommend the dose of colors lip liners they have a very long lasting power wait a minute I forgot I have a lip liner from Wayne gloss too okay Honestly, I'm like all over the place. Back to what I was saying, this Dose of Colors lip liner, super good wear power. Uh, it feels nice on the lips. It's not too heavy, it's not too drying. And if you can find the perfect shade for your skin tone, this is a great pencil to pick up. Hey, have you seen any lip liners anywhere? Oh yeah, right back here. Don't be a smart ass. Looks like a pencil. 
You haven't seen anything? Are you gonna respond? Guys, I am so embarrassed. I cannot find my Wayne Goss lip pencil. It is somewhere around here. I just picked this up from his newly launched lip collection. This was in the shade Natural Berry. Next to the Dose of Colors, I would so recommend his lip liners. They are so nice on the lips. It's like you don't even know you have anything on. Highly recommend Wayne Goss lip liner. And I'm sorry I don't have it here to show you what it looks like. We're gonna move on now to the liquid lipsticks that I own. I have a few here from Kylie Cosmetics that I have no problem getting rid of. The reason being is that I feel like for so long I tried to make Kylie matte lipsticks a thing for me. I really love the way they look initially. Right when you apply them, they give your lips almost like this face-tuned effect. I can't explain it. If you've ever tried them, you probably know what I'm talking about. But very shortly thereafter, your lips feel dry. They look caked. They look crusty. The lipstick itself feels like you have 800 pounds of lipstick dragging your lips down. They're awful. I haven't tried any of her new formulas like her velvet matte or any of her other lipstick formulas but these liquid lips are terrible in my opinion i have a few different shades here this one is from the coco collection this is in the shade doll and then i have another one actually i have multiple from the coco collection i think my sister gave these to me this one is in the shade Allergic to Bullshit. This one is in the shade The Bigger the Hoops. These are from Coco Collections. And then I have some of her regular formulas. This one is in the shade Okur. This one is Mary. And this one's Coco Cake. So this one's literally like an original. I have these are these are gonna go. I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of these and they're gonna go in the trash. Forgot I even had them, honestly. I have some Kylie glosses. These were from when she originally started launching her gloss. These are not the high gloss. Um, this one's from the Coco collection in the shade Sugar Plum. And then we have Jolly, so cute. I have two of the same glosses. They're both so cute. These can also go in the trash. Her original lip gloss formula, I am not a fan of at all. They are very, very heavy on the lips and they are super thick and they don't sit nicely at all on your lips. Like when you talk or eat or open your mouth in any capacity, it like sticks to your lips. It makes your lips sticky. So they're just not a good time and I'm not really into tinted lip glosses. So... These are probably gonna go. These are her high glosses. I am obsessed with this formula, obsessed. I have it in the shade, oh you fancy. This one's Diva and this one's Clear. These glosses, you guys, some of my absolute favorites I've ever tried. They are so beautiful. They last so long when you put them on. They never get that like caked effect on the inside of your lip. They never feel sticky or tacky. I have one here that has glitter in it. The glitter is not gritty at all. These are so bomb. And I don't bother picking them up on her website because I know she charges for shipping. I'll usually pick one of these up when I go to Ulta. They have a display. You can test them out on your hand before you buy them. And I just think they're absolutely stunning. I would highly recommend it for anyone who is a gloss lover. Her high gloss formula is so bomb. Here's another Kylie I forgot I had, matte liquid lipstick in the shade brown sugar, trash. So these are some super random brands here that I have received in subscription boxes. The first one here is from Adesi New York. This is their high definition liquid lip. Doesn't even have a shade on it, but I think this came in a boxy charm. I really actually love this. I'm gonna swatch it for you guys. I remember this when I got it because I was very impressed with the formula. And then I kind of just, I honestly you guys like I buy liquid lipsticks and I use them a few times and then I forget that I even have them because they're just not something that I reach for but yet I continue to buy but this came in a subscription box so don't clock me this is the color it's actually really beautiful and I know it looked really nice on the lips um, but this is super old so I think I'm gonna get rid of it this right here is from Iconic London. I absolutely hate it. This came in a subscription box. It's a lip plumping gloss in the shade Sex Kitten. I absolutely just, oh my God, I never even, that's the first time I even, okay, that sucks because I could have given that to someone. 
just not just not my shade i never even opened it that's so sad not no not for me next we have one from ofra this also came in a subscription box this is in the shade verona in an effort to save time i'm not going to go through and swatch each of these this one is from tarte this is the tartus lip paint in the shade salty getting rid of that it's just not well yeah I mean, plus the fact that it's super old, and this one's like very, very lightweight and liquidy. It's not good quality in my opinion. It's pretty patchy. It's just not, it's not like worth my time. Then we have one from Galactic Beauty, and that's really pretty, but just not something I reach for. So it's a matte lip paint in the shade Demure. Probably something I'm gonna get rid of as well. This is from Bobbi Brown. This is the Crushed oil infused gloss in the shade free spirit now this is something i got for free from octoly love this formula this is an absolutely stunning gloss and it's tinted but you can see it's not too opaque this shade particularly sits on top of my lips and just gives me that perfect your lips but better type of look and it's definitely a long wearing and hydrating formula. It will keep your lips looking so hydrated all day long. This is a great formula. His crushed oil infused gloss, highly recommend. Another Kylie lip. I'm just finding these Angel Matte Liquid Lipstick. So I literally have eight Kylie lipsticks that I never even wear. <sighs> This is another Kylie lipstick in the shade Bunny from the Coco collection. Oh my god, these are gonna haunt me in my dreams. I was not well prepared before I started this video. I am so sorry to keep being all over the place. I really do apologize. I forgot about this lip pencil that I had. It's a, actually like a matte lip crayon, so I feel like I should have mentioned this when I was talking about the lip liners. This is from House Laboratories. This is Lady Gaga's makeup line. I picked this up a while ago um, in the shade Dust super pretty love this i actually freaking forgot i even had it it's super lightweight and very velvety and soft it's right here this is another thing similar to the bobby brown oil infused gloss in that the color here for me gives me a your lips but better look so it really almost doesn't look like i have anything on but you can tell that my lips just look more even and more defined love this would definitely recommend picking up the lip crayons um from haas laboratories so good i swear to god you guys <laughs> this is another kylie lip from the coco collection baby girl that's it i give up so let's talk about the lipsticks that i have from jeffree star I'm going to start with the lip glosses. This one right here is in the shade Diet Freeze. This came in a mystery box. The shade is hideous. I think he put it in the mystery box because nobody was buying it. Realistically, who would actually wear this? There are a few people that can pull this off, and I mean a very few. I am not one of them. So this is probably something I'm just going to toss. But this is something that I picked up at the Morphe store. This is his gloss in the shade diamond juice this is one of my all-time favorite lip glosses i love the glitter in this it just makes my lips shine and sparkle although i don't believe a lot of people are going to continue to support him if you are this is definitely a formula that you're gonna want to try if you haven't already his lip glosses are next level this is a this is a great gloss Next, I'll show you the bullet lipsticks that I have. This one right here came in a mystery box. This is the shade Jawbreaker. This is also something I would never in a million years wear. It's sort of almost like a lip topper though. It has a bluish, purplish reflect and it does look pretty, but it's just not something I would ever wear. I also have the shades Baby Spice and X Supermodel. Baby Spice is this beautiful true barbie pink x supermodel is like a mauvey pinkish nude super pretty but just not really into the shade not really into bullet lipsticks as it is so these will probably all get passed along now his velour liquid lipsticks i have a bunch of these 
I have eight in the regular size. And then I have a whole bunch of the mini nudes because I picked up one of his mini collections. These are all of the shades for the liquid lips that I have. Royalty, Jeffrey Who, Yes Ma'am, Bronze Blood, Posh Spice, I'm Nude, Problematic, and Clout. I'm sure as many of you know, Jeffrey's Velour Liquid Lipstick Formula is eye safe. I think there might be a few shades that are not, but they are really nice if you want to use them as a shadow, if you want to cut the crease with them, if you want to use them as liner. So I'll probably keep these around. I might get rid of the purple shade and the hot pink. Otherwise, his Velour Liquid Lipstick Formula is really good, you guys. It's probably my favorite matte liquid lip. Um, and the only matte liquid lip that I would wear. Then I have all of these little nudes here. Love these as well. And I got rid of the box because it was taking up a lot of space. So I have those here. Now wait a minute. I have this Fenty Beauty Gloss here. It's a mini in the um, shade Sweet Mouth. I do like her formula, um, but it's not something that I always reach for. It's not my favorite formula. Just something about it is it's very, like it feels heavy on my lips. It's good quality, but just not one of my favorite formulas. I used to have, it's gotta be somewhere, the full size version of the Ice, the Diamond, um, it was like with silver glitter reflex in it, and I don't know where that went. So here is my one and only Fenty Gloss that I can find right now. This is the Ultra Glossy Lip from ColourPop in the shade Menagerie. This is a pretty lip gloss, um, not something I always reach for. This one here is so freaking gross. I need to throw this out immediately. This is Lip Plumping Gloss from Iconic London, like the one I showed you before, but I don't even know. This is old as hell in the shade Love Struck. I'm not even, this is like, this is pretty gross. If you look at it up close, the bottle's all scratched and the formula is all like separated. That's gross. I'm getting rid of that something that's new to me I've only had it for a few months absolutely love it it is from artist couture this is angel Marino's line he has the most beautiful packaging and the most beautiful products he really just works off of like a nude vibe like all of his products seem to sort of center around like the nude shade range and this gloss you guys is so gorgeous the only thing I hate about it is the doe foot because it's so flimsy and it's like that on purpose obviously but I prefer one that's a little bit more stiff this one to me is not something I really like but the formula is incredible I love his packaging and would highly recommend if you were thinking about picking one of these up all right I have a couple more randos in here this is the Jouer Cosmetics Essential Hydrating Lip Oil. Absolutely love. Would definitely recommend picking this up. I'm starting to run extremely low. I'm gonna have to restock. Love this lip oil. It's so luxurious. It stays on your lips really well. And it's not like, like when I think of lip oil, all for some reason I think of it, something that's just gonna like slide right off your lips or something that's going to absorb very quickly. This you can feel really packs a punch as far as hydration and it gives you a nice little glossy shine so I definitely love that formula. This is a random Lorac Alter Ego lip gloss in the shade Supermodel. I'm gonna get rid of this. It's super old. Then I have this I have to get rid of because I've had it literally for years. This is the Fenty Beauty Stunna lip paint in the shade Uncensored. This is when she first launched this formula so this is super old. Definitely a gorgeous shade. It's universal. It can be worn on any skin tone. And I love that about it. I love Fenty Beauty, period. But I just think Rihanna is so cool. And her formula is truly one of a kind. And her doe foot on this, or her applicator, I should say, I love it. Love it. You guys know what I'm talking about. If you've tried this, it just glides on your lips perfectly. You don't even need lip liner. It makes for a very precise application. This is a goat right here. I should probably get another one, uh, but this is expired for sure. Next, I have something from Sugar Pill. This came in the Beauty Lish Lucky Bag for sure. I remember when I opened this the first time, I thought it's beautiful. I loved it. 
and then I realized that it's actually one of those the glitter changing one yeah like when you rub your lips together it, it shows up with like glitter and I hate it and I hate it it's it's really hard to see over here but it has like a glitter effect and I just it's so like juvenile I, I can't stand it um so that has to go this has to go Emily my sister if you're watching this you will remember this from when you lived in Wisconsin. This is the Stila Lush Lips Water Plumping Primer. I rem remember specifically picking this up at an Ulta when I went to visit my sister. This is a really good product. I just don't really use it anymore because I don't really wear liquid lips or matte, matte lips, bullet lips, any type of lipstick. This is a really good lip plumper, like a primer for under your lipstick, but since I mainly wear glosses now, it's something I forgot I even had to be honest and um, it's super old it's a couple years old so I have to get rid of it next is from PYT Beauty this is just a clear plumping lip gloss in the shade skinny dip it's just clear I love it I love the component it's super cute just love it really good quality it has like a minty taste I love this just a basic clear gloss okay we're getting there guys we're almost done I'm gonna show you what I have from Wayne Goss I attempted to show you the lip liner, but I have no idea where it is. Um, but I do, I did also pick up the Luxury Cream Lipstick in the shade Daisy and the Lip Gloss in the shade Cherry Blossom. You guys, Wayne Goss, I, when I heard he was launching a lip collection, I knew right away. It's what I have on my lips right now. This gloss, so good. It almost has like a, like a minty smell and minty scent and it's just before i just reapplied this this has been on my lips now for at least two to three hours and you could see my lips looked just as good a couple minutes ago as they do now this keeps your lips looking fresh to death his formula is top notch same thing with the lipstick i freaking wasn't even thinking about this when i said i don't wear lipsticks this would be a lipstick that i would wear his formula is so perfect you can apply it and then put the gloss over it it doesn't feel heavy it doesn't feel caked his formulation you guys would recommend 10 times over it's so bomb all of his stuff is on um, beautylish.com i don't even know i i know when it initially launched he ran out of stock of a lot of the shades so i'm not sure if they've restocked yet but definitely if Get your hands on them when you can because they are so good. And then I have some minis from ABH. These have to go. I reviewed these both on my channel. These are, the one of them is like the pink and berry collection. And then the other one is from like a nude collection. They're just little minis here. Tube lipsticks, gorgeous shades. I just obviously never reach for them. I'll just quickly read off the shades for anyone who cares. Orchid, Spice, Cotton Candy, Dead Roses, Stargazer, Plumeria, Kiss, and Soft Pink. These I just have to get rid of because I've had them for so long. But does anybody else, I love, my question is, does anybody else love to pick up mini products? I absolutely, minis are like my jam. I love to pick up minis in any capacity, whether it's skincare, beauty products, hair products. I love being able to test products out before I go ahead and purchase the full size. These were great. I just don't wear them. So that's why I'm getting rid of them. That's at the end of the day, that's that's mainly like why any of these would be gone. They just take up space. They sit there and I don't wear them. And especially now that we're in quarantine and we go nowhere. I'm definitely not wearing any lipsticks. Oh, these are so cute from Charlotte Tilbury. And I just remembered I have the Pillow Talk lip kit and I have no freaking clue where it is. So that's what you get for being unprepared. But I do have that, and I like it. It's a, like a mini lipstick and a mini lip liner. I just don't know where it is. But I have these also from Charlotte Tilbury. This was a little mini set. These are so cute. They're leopard print, right? And look how little these lipsticks are. But to be honest, guys, like, let's be realistic. Because I know, like, a lot of people gave heat for this mini set. I saw in their reviews on Sephora be honest you guys when you get a lipstick how often do you honestly get down to the bottom of your lipstick and use the entire thing i truly besides my lip glosses i truly don't think i've ever gotten down to the bottom of a matte lip product a lipstick a liquid lip truly like 
So that's why my thing, my biggest thing is just to um, promote minis because why would you, and these are perfect size to just go in your purse, go in your pocket at that. I just think it's a great way to be able to try, especially the more expensive brands that have higher price items. It's just worth a shot. And then I have this um, lipstick from ColourPop called Still Crazy. Now you guys can see this is so cute. If you can see the stars that are imprinted on the side of the lipstick, but this is so cute. Pretty shade, still crazy, just not something I reach for. And then, ah, I found it. This is the Pillow Talk Mini Lipstick. I don't know where the liner is, and it's definitely not in front of me, so, but this is the lipstick, super pretty shade. But see, you guys, honestly, like, I buy lipsticks and I never wear them. Shh. I don't want my boyfriend to hear. Um. This right here was part of a mini set from Pat McGrath. I actually used the other two shades up. I don't even remember what they were, but this is a lip gloss set. This is the Lust Gloss in the shade Divine Rose. And I had two other shades that went with it. It was a little mini kit. Loved it, loved it, loved it. I actually ended up purchasing the same kit for my girlfriend that I work with. Hi Meg, if you're watching. She absolutely, every day I would wear these and she'd say, what's on your lips, what's on your lips? And I'm like, you know what? I forget if it was for her birthday or for Christmas. I was like, I gotta get these for her. I think it was a Christmas gift. So, and she loved them too. Pat McGrath lip gloss formula, you guys, really is second to none. Her formula for her glosses is insane, which brings me to my next gloss. This is the Opulus gloss in the shade Lavendering. Oh my lord. This gloss is beyond, beyond. Look at this. It is so shiny and gorgeous. This is definitely a gloss though that I will say looks way better over top of like a nude lip than it does just on your lips bare, but it's just so pretty to look at. Formula is incredible. It has like a duochrome reflect of like gold and lavender. It's insane. I wish you guys could see this in person. Her lip gloss, it's insane. They are pricey, but they're worth it. I'm kind of disappointed in myself because I really didn't save the best for last. That was probably the best for last, but I still have four more to show you. This one here is from Too Faced in the shade Naked Dolly. I used to wear this religiously and then I just stopped. It's kind of like a thicker, chunkier formula, but it was the perfect nude shade for my lips. It's just super old now. Definitely something I have to get rid of. And then this is from Becca. This is the Souffle Ultimate Lipstick. Another pretty mauve nude shade. And then I have this gorgeous sample that I remember I got from a Clinique rep. Perfect blue red. It's the perfect red for me. I have very fair skin with cool undertones. And this, if you guys are looking for a blue red lipstick, this is in the shade Crimson, Matte Crimson. This says not for sale because it was given to me by a rep. And the very last thing, this is so freaking underwhelming. Um, I mean, not really, but compared to my collection. This is from Summer Fridays. This is their Lip Butter Balm. Would definitely recommend picking this up. However, you know what, to be honest with you guys, I love this formula and I like the way it applies. It's very hydrating on the lips, but you have to apply it with your finger. You take the cap off and it's like a tube like toothpaste and you squeeze it out so this is definitely not something I can carry along with me in my purse like I'm not gonna reach into my purse at, while I'm going about my day and like touch my finger to my lips I like to use it in the comfort of my own home if I know my hands are clean I will apply it but this is definitely not something I would ever travel with um, just because of the way you have to apply it like I said, some was given to me for my sister. Some came in subscription boxes, so I did not pay full price for all of these items here. Um, but for a lot of them, I did. So it just goes to show it's not, not good. Not good at all. So um, thank you so much for watching this lip declutter video. If you've made it through the entire thing, I so appreciate you. You have no idea. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you on the next video. Bye, guys.